everyone welcome so in this video I would like to discuss with you on how to measure distance for dissimilarity measurement so let's see uh, let me introduce you few commonly used uh, distance measurement first uh, before that let's try to see which distance or which data point so maybe we can consider to find y and also z okay all right so let's try to find the distance between y and z let's plot here uh what my y is 36 it will be here and my z is 5 3 it will be here so let's say y all right and also z and this is how you find the distance all right so if you look at here we have two unit all right to the okay and then we have three unit down right so let's try to find a uh, few uh, commonly used distance measurement first is Manhattan distance so how you can find Manhattan distance is uh, easy so D distance from Y to Z or Z to Y they have they will fulfill the symmetry property is equals to 3 plus 2 equals to 5 okay so the second one we can consider using Euclidean okay Euclidean distance okay so how we can find the Euclidean distance is distance again y to z equals to 3 square plus 2 square you square root them then you'll get mm, 3.6 okay there's another way for you that you can find distance the third one that you can consider is using supremum distance okay so how you can do that is the distance of yz is equals to the maximum of these three uh, these two uh, you need to then you get Alright, so these are the three commonly used uh, distance measurement that you can find in the literature. Alright, so if you look at here, so one is we have supremum. Okay, we have Euclidean. Okay, so Euclidean you can even check. I have uh, posted another video, you can check that video. And then we have Manhattan distance all right please take note that these three are special cases of what we known as mean Kosky distance okay so let me use a different color for this Okay, these three are special cases for Minkowski distance. So, what is Minkowski distance? Uh, let's say the distance between uh, two data objects X and Y is equal to the sum K equals to oops, 1 to N. So, N is your number of dimension. Alright. Okay, X, K minus Y, K the absolute to the power of p so p is the parameter that will decide okay later we'll see what is p whether it, whether it's manhattan distance or Euclidean distance or supremum distance and then v to the power of one over p okay so when p equals to one okay this is what we call as manhattan okay so this is how I've managed to get this. Okay. Or in some literature, this is known as city block 
or L1 norm okay because P equals to 1 the second is when P is equals to 2 this is known as Euclidean okay this is known as Euclidean correct or L2 uh, no okay and the third one is P is reaching infinity okay this is what is known as supremum okay or L3 norm okay or chef chef okay so these three are the commonly used distance measurement for uh, dissimilarity between two data points so now let's look how we can find this using python so in python i'm going to use from the library scipy okay spatial so we import mean Kowski distance okay it's available there so let's see some how we can actually find the value and check whether the value that I calculated here is similar so first let's try to find for um, Kowski distance so our data here right the y is 3 6 okay and then we find for z that is 5 3 all right so now we need to set the parameter p equals to 1 so if you look at here when p equals to 1 okay if you look at here when p equals to 1 this is manhattan distance and let's see whether the answer is the same so if you look at here you get 5 as the distance between these two data point right so now when p equals to 2 that is including distance we supposed to get 3.6 correct okay and when p is reaching infinite so we just put here uh, infinite okay in order for you to put just put float infinite then you will get 3 all right so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can message me i will share this code in my github account thank you very much and see you again